Hi, I'm Rita Williams Garcia, author of Clayton Bird Goes Underground, and I'd like to share with you a little bit about my writing process and a little bit about myself. I'm someone who has to talk my story um, uh, to myself uh, before I even get started. What I usually do is I get up, I go for my walk, and then I start thinking about my story. Eventually, when I start to really write, I write the story I in a, in a one or two pager. And then I begin to write scenes. The real writing doesn't begin really until I can feel where my character is coming from. I can hear their own voice but I also need the research to really help me ground myself into the story. My husband, Fred, um, is, is a musician. He served as my technical advisor on the book. So anything that I wanted to say, I would say, honey, can I actually say this? Does this make musical sense? Um, um, and he, and so he would, not just say yes or no, he would give me the chart and show me how it worked. But you know, that was very good for me, for my understanding. One of the things I had to do, if I was gonna write about a harmonica player or a blues harp player, was I had to know what it felt like to play a harmonica. So I went out and I bought my own. I had to learn how to hold it and, and uh, which was the right side and which was the wrong side. You have to know those things. I had to learn how to blow and how to draw. Now, I couldn't bend a note. I tried hard. So I really, really appreciate how hard it was for Clayton to learn how to bend that note. But I, that, that did not stop me from playing my, um, my blues harp. I have met, I have many, um, many loves, many passions, and dance has always been one of them. We couldn't afford dance lessons when I was a kid. Uh, so it wasn't until I was in college that I took all the dance classes that they had to offer. And then also I had a little job. So then I had some money and then I'd get on the subway and ride into Manhattan and take classes at Alvin Ailey, uh, where, um, where I learned the Horton technique. And, um, and I really learned how to feel the dance from within. And that is what, uh, come, that, uh, what I bring into my writing is that I'm not just doing the steps or doing the movement, but I'm letting all of those movements, all of those steps come from someplace within and then express themselves outward. And so I think I carry that with me when I'm writing, that it's not just the words, there has to be something behind them, something that pushes them out into the world, into the reader's uh, consciousness. And so uh, I, I really hope that when I write, that I write not only for my characters to move, but also to move my readers. Uh, so I, I, I'm always hoping that you can feel the dance in my words. Thank you so much for coming along with me on my journey. And I hope you all have journeys in reading and in writing.